Hi guys, I'm Nina and I'm back with another tutorial. And this time I will be talking about the differences when drawing blonde and dark hair using only graphite pencils. So let's begin! Okay, so I already drew the same girl twice as you can see and we're going to start with the blonde hair which is on the left. I'm going to use the same set of pencils for both drawings plus an eraser that is also shaped as a pencil and by the way I usually cut off the tip to be able to erase really really thin lines. And the last thing I will use is a brush for blending. But basically you just need any blending tool and I even have a tutorial how to make your own blending stump so check it out too. I'm starting with the hardest pencil I have and it's 2H. This pencil is really light and it's exactly what we need when drawing blonde hair. I am using a reference picture, so if you need it, it's in my Pinterest, the link will be in the description. So, with a really well sharpened 2H pencil, I'm filling in the head. My strokes are pretty short and steady. The head is round, so the strokes are also following the shape of the head. You can clearly see it on the sides and right above the ponytail. I'm drawing both from the top down and upwards because I'm trying to avoid the highlight. I'm doing it because it's a lot easier not to draw a lot of strokes there than trying to erase it later. So there is a white area in the middle of the head. By the way, I personally have both blonde and dark hair look. I'm saying it because it can be a really good idea to look at your own hair when you're drawing hair. So just try and do that. After the first layer of graphite, I'm taking a brush and blending it out. After blending, the strokes become more blurred and soft and that's exactly what I need because I am going for the realistic result. So after the blending, I'm taking an HB pencil and adding more texture and blending it one more time. You can see it already looks good. I'm basically drawing on the same place but with different pencils. But these pencils are hard, because in this case hardness equals light. You have to use hard pencils when drawing blonde hair. I take the brush after every layer to achieve this smoothness and I recommend you to do the same. If you don't have a brush, you can use a cotton bud, a soft tissue or, as I've already mentioned in the beginning of my tutorial, a homemade blending stump that you can make together with me while watching this tutorial. The next pencil I'm taking is H and I probably should have used it before HB, but I figured it out only now. H is a tiny bit hotter than HB and it's perfect for texturing. And I need texturing because my brush removes a lot of texture after blending, especially if the pencil is soft and HB is softer than H. My 
my Misa and I really want you to like this video and subscribe because there will be a lot of cool stuff coming, right? And the last pencil I'm using is B. B pencil will provide us with the right value and it will make my blonde girl look finished, three-dimensional and not flat or gray. And as the last thing, I'm taking an eraser to pull out some highlights. While I'm drawing the ponytail, I want to point out the most important things one more time. Number one, you need hard pencils to be able to draw blonde hair. For example, I used 2H, H, HB and B pencils, and they have to be really sharp. Number two, it's easier to draw around the highlights than erasing the pencil later. And number three, Start drawing with the hardest pencil you have and move towards the softest. Okay, and now let's draw the dark hair. If you remember, I started drawing the girl on the left using a 2H pencil. Here I'm starting with HB. The technique is basically the same, but there are a few different things. For example, soft pencils become dull 10 times more often than hard pencils. So I sharpened my pencils like 20 times while drawing this girl. 
And it is important because if your strokes are not sharp, it simply will not look like hair. The next pencil I'm taking is 3B. If you don't have 3B, you can use the closest to this number. It's really easy to blend soft pencils and to control the value range using soft pencils, so I'm sure nobody will have any problems with drawing dark hair. But of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, write them in the comment section. You know guys that I love answering your comments, so go ahead. And here I wanted to take a 6B pencil and I accidentally dropped it and this is what happened. And after I cleaned all the mess, I took the 6B pencil and it's the last one I need to finish the drawing. Remember that a lot depends on your pressure control. The harder you press down, the darker the strokes are. I'm saying it because some people will need even darker pencils, for example 8B. And just like on the drawing on the left, I'm taking an eraser to pull out the highlights. And to sum up, use soft pencils to draw dark hair, for example, HB, 3B and 6B, like I'm using. And sharpen your pencils as many times as needed, it's extra important to make sharp strokes. And while I'm drawing, I will show you my Instagram. And I hope you will follow me there because there are a lot of cool stuff and drawings and drawing tips there.
So that's it for this hair tutorial. And there's actually going to be the second part where I'm going to draw colored hair using colored pencils. So I hope you liked this video. If so, show me, show me. Subscribe if you're new and see you soon, guys. Bye.